What's up, Will Zen here, and welcome back to Hermel. So I believe we are almost done. Okay, no, we're we're not on chapter five yet, but we're still almost done. Okay. Okay, let's continue. Okay, it looks like I have to go that way. This is your parents' resting place, and also yours. Why did you bring me here, sir? I'm sorry, friend, but things are how they are. Your parents were killed. Knowing you killed them can help us make things right. What do you mean by right, sir? I mean that if we can find the guilty ones, we will have justice. Use the law to punish those behaviors prevent others from being harmed. I understand, sir. And for what did you need my help? To find clues and evidence, we need to find the- we need to open the coffins. Alright, sir. I'll help. Maybe the deedle worms came already. Who? No clue? Hmm. Anyway, we have to find shovels to dig. I'll go left and you go right. And you can go right. I'll see you in a few minutes. Right here, alright? Yes, dear. Yes, Dr. Dearn. I'll see you soon. Okay. Martin Bell. Hello, oh, Father. I know that you didn't choose to leave me. Okay. Mommy, this is very hard knowing that you're not around. Mm -hmm. Bell, huh? I wonder if you came up with one like this one. <laughs> oh, I, oh, 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 Lily Bear. You must take care of my parents. little candle keep my parents warm. Oh Rose, is this for the bad smell of the fried bodies? <laughs> oh wow. Fran. No name, no flowers. Maybe nobody's down here. Oh it sucks. This must be the shovel storage room. Just my luck. Okay. Oh, I won't do. Okay, maybe I can use this. Like, okay. This won't work, huh? Maybe there's a secret code or something. Or maybe it can't be open at all. Then what's the point of having it? Maybe I can burn this time? I can't- okay, nope. Maybe I can- ah, things not- things not working. It makes me angry. Okay. Wait, hold on. Can I light that candle? Okay, no, I can't. enough already maybe I have to use these okay no need no flowers maybe nobody is down there okay then what do I do Eh, 
There we go. Oh, memorial. I knew I could light the matches somehow. I knew I could use those somehow. I don't know what to do. I don't want to look up a guide. But it seems I may have to. Aha! A crowbar. I hope the doctor doesn't mind if I take it. Mm, the gearbox. I wonder if it has little secrets inside. Okay, so now... So, lighting the memorial, I guess, was an easter egg? So now I can use a scroll bar. Oh, this Mountain Dew. Shh, you have to keep it down, fa Fabio. Oh, but I'm not Fabio. I'm Fran. Hello, little pinecone. What? Oh my goodness, a giant. Oh, please, don't be scared. I won't harm you. I thought no giants could see us. I think I can see you because I have very big eyes, you see? Ah, uh, I see. I'm Sebastian, by the way. The tribe's collector. The tribe's collector? That sounds exciting. Right now, we are trying to find some shiny leather. We need it for the mating ritual. Mating ritual? <laughs> oh, that's quite interesting. Shiny leather. Hmm. Yes, last year we used old human skin, but the doodle worms wind it back. So we are looking for something more synthetic. Only hope you can find the leather. Um, Sebastian, would you do me a favor? It depends on the favor, giant miss. I was thinking that you could open the door for me from the inside. I could do that, but we can help each other instead. Bring me a piece of leather, and I'll open the door. Alright, giant miss? But where will I ever find that, huh? Alright, I'll see what I can do. I believe, if I'm not wrong... Okay, why can't I use it on Fran anymore? Car seats are normally leather, right? So maybe the car seats are quite comfortable. Maybe I can use. Oops, what a big hole I made. Well, I have the leather now. Okay, that's what I thought. My brain's working now. I had to think where I could get leather because I know usually car seats are made out of leather. Old cars have leather seats anyway. And that's an old car. Yes. Well, thank you, Giant Miss. I tried the Penazilus. We'll be happy. And now I'll we'll open the door just a second. It's so adorable. Ouch, are you alright, Sebastian? Sebastian? 
It's funny. I'm, I'm alright, miss. Yes. Good. Well, thank you. You open the door. You're welcome, giant miss. Eh, uh, Fabio? Well, I have to go, miss. Good night. Hey, Fabio, wait for me. I have the leather. <laughs> no, there's nothing in here I could use. This is not what I'm going to lie. You need to find something to dig with. I can't dig with the broom. Isn't that what I want? Okay. There you are, friend. Look, I found us a pair of shovels. Let's dig. Okay. Yes. Well, now we'll have to come up with something to open the closet. <laughs> come on. They're stuck. I had a crowbar in my car, just in case, but I couldn't find it. Oh, I took the crowbar, sir. I need it to open that door. Do you want it back? No need, friend. Well, you can do the honors of opening the coffins. All right, sir. I'll open them. My goodness, Father, the beetle worms took your eyes. Oh, Mother, you're so skinny, a bit too much, I would say. Ooh, I'm not in the coffin. Great. Did you see anything that could bring us closer to the killer? No, sir. I just feel really bad doing this. See my parents like this. Also, that dead cat is not my cat. They're lying. Friend, I told you, your cat was missing, and maybe this one is actually your cat. It can't be, sir. I did find my kitty. You have to believe me. Take me home, and I'll show you, please. All right, friend. I'll take you back home. I'll take care of this later. I still need to find some clues. Thank you, sir. Let's go. <laughs> go? You have no manners. I'm not afraid of you anymore. I've taken away from you the light, the one you love, the one you respect, and the one you desire to love you. Oh no. What the? Okay. You broken little girl. You want to find those you love in darkness. In darkness, you must wake up. Okay. Wake up now, friend. Wake up. Chapter 5, The House of Madness, the final chapter. We are almost done with the game. Aunt Grace, is that you? My darling, you found a little cup. You're at home, my dear. Am I? Really? That's incredible. I'm sorry to see you. Please give me a hug. Soon, my darling. Where is Mr. Midnight? Your cat? Well, you know he ran away after what he did. What? He ran away? But what did he do? Well, your cat killed my sister and your father. He is a traitor. That's not true. It can't be. You didn't do it. It doesn't matter. If it's true or not, in the end, you must have killed him, right? 
But you can't blame Mr. Midnight. He is my best friend. But it's easy to blame someone else than... But it's easier to blame somebody else than take responsibility, isn't it? I will always take responsibility for my actions, even if they are not so good. What a good girl. Rest now, darling. You need it. But Grace, don't leave me. Why am I chained to the bed? Because your hands do bad things when they are untied. What are you talking about? Uncuff me now. I have to go find Mr. Midnight. Little, little shining friend. Don't you worry about the lies. The seeker of the truth will always die because evil will never hide. Little, little shining friend. Go to bed and sleep tight. And forget the pain inside your mind. You were selected as a sufferer to cry and hate. But the darkness wants to free you from all disgrace. Sleep tight, my darling friend. Wait, what? Oh no, don't leave me here. Aunt Grace, come back, please. Why is she acting so strange? Why blame Mr. Midnight? Kitty couldn't have killed my parents. His paws are so soft, are so tiny and soft. It will be his fine. But what should I do now? Tick tock, tick tock. Crazy sound, it never stops. Now that I think about it, the clockmaker said the time is a layered reality. It's the rabbit that I was talking about before. Maybe there's another version of me in this room, in another time. I'm just imagining things. If it's true, how could I make contact with her? Dr. Dan said that everything is in my head. Oh, wait, hold on. That was Fran talking. I thought it was the rabbit over here talking. I wish Mr. Midnight would come through the window to save me. I painted this one. It's Kitty and me. No, um... I won't even try that. The Midnight's bed. Well, I can almost hear him purring. The Nutcracker stands on guard. And the wind took all the magical dust away. Oh. Hello. What are you doing on my bed? Are you sick? Your bed. This is my bed. And no, I'm not sick. But you're chained, are you? A dog? Wait, do I know you? I'm not a dog, and yes, I'm chained. Can you unlock it? Well, you are. Myself. You really are. You think so? Then this means I imagine... Then that means... Then this means that I managed to enter the ultra reality. Did you meet Edward already? He always talks about that. Yes, I met him already, and I haven't seen him since the crash. You crashed? That means you are broken. I'm not broken. Why would you say that? Think about it. The only way to cross into ultra reality is to break the eyes, to break the ears, break the physical limitation. The sound, that sound extreme. You think I'm dead? No, not at all. They told me that to die is just a mental state. They? Who are they? All the creatures that... You can see the black ones, the white ones. Do you know why we can see those things? Yes, a man called Leon came to visit and once told me everything. Oh, and can you tell me then why we see the things we do? And what about if I help you unlock the handcuffs first? Then we can talk. Good idea. I also need to find Mr. Midnight. I think he is in danger. And Grace blames him for the death of our parents. Who is Mr. Midnight? What? That's our kitty, you know? Our best friend. I don't have a cat. I guess that's the difference between us. Anyway, let me see if I can unlock you. So it happens that I'm a key collector. I'll be right back. The door is closed. Oh, so I play as little friend now. My key collecting. I hope I can unlock the other friend now. Oh, that jacket. I drew this after my journey with Edward and Palanchos. One blue blanket and one white. Parents to draw hobby faces on everything. I don't feel like drawing right now. So all my clothes to make shows. The big teddy bear that eats big, big monsters. You're too upset. Why would you, t want, would you like to talk? Would you like my show, little bear? This is my super cute rabbit. I like to make it cry. Hello, Dr. Oswald. Oh, 
Oh, sweet, sweet melody. One more time, la la la. Does the same as before, huh? So... I think that's a reference to... The first chapter. Let's see, which key? so much, Fran. He, you really have a lot of keys in there. Yes, don't you? Oh, Fran, before I forget, Lundra's told me that if we meet someday, I should give this to you. Here, I think it will help you to open something. Okay. Lundra's? You know him too. Wow, thank you. Yes, he also told me that if we meet, you will be ready for what's about to come up. What? Ready for what? Tell me. Oh no, I can't now. She's coming. Be quiet. You must see the doctor now. No, don't go, little friend. We have stuff to talk about. That nurse is bad. Bad. Bad nurse. She was the one lying to the newspaper about me. Ellie, I must find the monster. I'm sure he took Mr. Midnight. But nobody can take my kitty away from me. Nobody. Box was having a hard time. All the screaming and the boogers were driving me mad. I press it by the ears, first twice to the left and once to the right. I rub its only eye two times to see the ass ears this time. I take him once by the left ear and scream, Stop whining, you little golden box. Press your eye again and open the door. Oh, it's big. What? Okay, so find a paper. I'm gonna get paper. Oh, I need something to, to write this down. Ear twice, right ear once, rub eye twice.
Okay. My goodness, it opened. I'm a master. Makuba, Makuba, wake up, mother. Makuba, the child is playing with delight. The walk is a sangerian, shining too bright. Mother Makuba, wake up, wake up, and give up the child before the darkness ends. In the hands of the light, Makuba must wake up. Let's build the egg clock on the back of the giant cat. Too strong are the bubbles and too bright in the light. She cried, Me and Makuba, the mother of darkness, will open my heart. Please take my little horn needle. The child and shut down the lights. Okay. So that's materials I need. Well, I'm gonna leave this episode off here. See ya.